Hi, Valder. Hi, Jamie Presley. Thank you so much for joining us today. Oh, thank you for having me. Oh, thank you for having me. I want to let my audience know that I have the Emmy award-winning actress, Jamie <laughs> Press Presley. I know. How does that sound? That sounds pretty good, doesn't it's it? It's not bad. Well, thanks for joining us here in Dallas. You know, last time we loved you is when you were on My Name is Earl. We loved you on that show, and you did other shows before that. But you got Jennifer Falls. Would you tell us about that today? Yeah, um, I'm really, really excited about the show and couldn't be happier to be part of such an incredible cast. We, uh, we have some great writing, and um, the synergy on the set's amazing. But basically, it's, a, it's about somebody, uh, like a lot of people these days, who was uh, really successful and unfortunately lost her job and hence the title Jennifer Falls has fallen from grace and has to move back in with her mother, go to work for her brother at a sports bar, the brother that she's always been more successful than, um, get back in the gr good graces of her best friend who she pretty much left behind when she became successful and she's got a 16 year old daughter that um, she actually has to start mothering because she no longer has her Lupe, <laughs> her, her nanny housekeeper who basically raised her daughter for. So she, she has to do what so many have to do now, uh, be a single working mother um, and try to learn how to balance it all. When you're doing this, I hear so in many elements of what's true today, you know, uh, older people moving back home with their parents and those relationships are really hard, you know, because everybody wants to be the boss, everybody wants to be an adult, so th that's the reality part of it. But I want to ask you, with so many reality shows, how are you going to go up against them? Go up against, how am I going to go up against reality shows? Um, seems to be the appetite of what people want. You know what, I think the appetite, people, people really want to, uh, see things they can relate to and I think that's part of what makes reality shows uh, so successful these days is that it's people watching other normal people go through normal situations that are um, relatable uh, in most cases I should say um, but this show is relatable in that so many people have had to deal with the rise and fall of their careers in the last 10 years with the economy and the way the world you know, has been working. It's not been uh, it's not been as easy, and so a lot of people who were successful and doing really well career-wise that lost their jobs did have to move back in with their parents. Um, and then there's a lot that did not have the luxury of having a parent, uh, you know, mother or father's home to move back into. And that's one of the things that Jennifer has to learn to appreciate is that she had as a mother that took her back in and a brother who gave her a job because so many people have uh, not had the luxury of having a brother that could give them a job. They've just been jobless for a very long time. Um, and, and it's really difficult to deal with. So Jennifer's humbling experience is one that I think a lot of people will be able to relate to, um, more so than a lot of the reality TV shows that come up with situations um, for people to deal with. I know. Let me ask you, so how has life been for you to relate? You've been out of our eye a little bit, and you know, we live in such a this, this voyeuristic society, so people want to know everything you're doing, who you're doing it with, and I don't think it's our business, but how's life But been? you're going to ask anyway. <laughs> I, I have to ask for people because this of is... Of course. I'm kidding. I know what you're saying. You know, like, hey, you're asking me that question, but how's life been for you? Has it been great what you plan, or are you on track for what you want to do? Uh, I think I'm right on... I mean, I feel like I'm right on track for what I want to do, and I think everybody, especially in this business, needs to uh, take a beat, step out of the light for a second and get back to their sense of normalcy, which is what I was doing. I was being a mom. Um, my son just finished first grade. And so it was nice to kind of step out of the limelight for a second and just um, kind of try to figure out for my own self uh, how to balance being a, a single working mother, um, which is what Jennifer's doing. Um, so I relate to her in more than more than a few ways, um, and, and you know, a lot to the you know and, well, it, and and also coming from such a successful show, which was such a blessing for all of us. But my name is Earl. Uh, my character Joy was such a huge character, and thankfully a loved character um, that I had to kind of step away for a little while, take a break, so that people could uh, kind of get over her and forget her a little bit. 
Um, and that's part of why I cut my hair, because my hair was so much of the character that I played. Um, and it stopped people from seeing me in any other light. Uh, therefore, I cut my hair. I took a, I took a, you know, a step away for a little while. Um, you know, was a mom and and got got my son situated and and uh, also with social media, it it you know it came around when I was doing Earl and had a new baby, and that was a lot to deal with because everywhere you you went, there was you know little hand computers everywhere with uh, cameras, and that was something that you know. I'd never had to deal with before. Um, so being a new mom and, and being in the public eye for so long, uh, it was nice to be able to step away for a little bit and, and rein, reinvent myself, get my bearings again, and come back in an all new uh, light, new character um, here in Jennifer Falls. Yeah, it's Jennifer Falls, and when do you want us to watch? Uh, I want you to watch tonight, Wednesday nights, following Hot in Cleveland at 10.30 on TV Land. All right, we're going to be watching you, Jamie Presley, and I wish you the best of luck in this just revamping of who you are, and uh, we'll be watching. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you, and thanks for sharing your intimate light. I really appreciate that. No worries.